Hello, everyone. I'm Mark Summers, and this is What Would You Do? How are you today? Listen to that crowd. Stars for entertainment, aren't they? This is the show that gives you the choice of what you would do when you are put into a crazy situation. Now, I have a lady up here I'd like to talk to, and your name is Fran, right? Right. You probably want to know how I know your name is Fran, don't you? How do you know my name is Fran? Well, stand up. I'll tell you an interesting story, Fran. I need you to have a seat over here first. Could you have a seat right over there in the pie pod for me just for a second, okay? Just, no, no, up there, Fran. That's not comfortable up there, and I need you to be as comfortable as possible, okay? Now, you are probably saying to yourself, how do I know your name? But secondly, you came in here with a few extra members of your family, didn't you? I did. You are probably saying, where are those people, aren't you? Yes. Could you say that for me? Where are those people? Well, if you take a look at our monitors up there, we have uh, your son and your uh, husband out there. And you want to say hi to them? Here's what they have Hi. to do. If we take a shot of uh, what they're going to have to run through in a second, we have sort of a slip and slidey device, and we have a bunch of whipped cream. Their job is to get a running start, go all the way down that little mat with the water, and go from one side of that whipped cream to the other. And if they do that, that means they're successful. And you know what that means? No. That means that you stay totally dry and none of these pies hit you in the face. Would you like that? Absolutely. However, if for some reason they get stuck in that pie halfway through at any time, that means they lose, and you know what that means? Yeah. You win, and you get the pies, okay? Okay. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'd like your husband to go first. What's your husband's name? Rick. Rick, how do you feel out there, Rick? Uh, I feel great right now, Mark. Yeah, uh, and do you really think that you're gonna accomplish this and uh, keep your wife dry? Oh, uh, well, I thought so until they brought out that second bucket of cream. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're not too sure, huh? Yeah, and they keep wanting to shovel more on there. All right, Rick, well, uh, give the microphone over there to, to your son, Eric, and let's see if you can get on through and keep your wife clean. There he goes, running start, folks. It's up to him how he wants to accomplish this. <laughs> he's stepping back. Oh, oh, look at this. This is going to help him a lot. What is that thing that he's got there? All right, on your mark. Get set. Go! Here he goes, running on through, sir. Can he get all the way through? Ah, uh, yes! Is it, we count that? Okay. Very nice. Now, our judges tell us, Fran, that that is a successful uh, mission that we have accomplished, that we have gone through. And as a matter of fact, we're going to show you an instant replay. Let's take a look and see uh, how Rick looked going through that. Starting off, here's his technique just to dive. I think he should have run a little bit farther. Oh, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? And he went through three quarters of the way. So you're standing here, sitting here dry, feeling pretty good, right? right. Now, Rick was very successful, but your son Eric must do the same thing. Now, any final words you'd like to say to Eric before he makes his attempt? Eric, you better be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric, good luck. Get a running start. Keep your mom clean. On your mark. Get set. Go. Taking a little bit bigger running start than he made. Oh, no. <laughs> now, Rick, what happened? You, you kind of dove in there a little bit too quick, didn't you? You don't have a microphone there, and that means that your mom is unfortunately going to get hit with some pie. So, Robin, can we just sort of pump her up here just for a second, and can we uh, get the goggles on here? And, audience, we want to see her hit with four pies, don't we? I think that's the uh, yes. So you help me out on the count of three. We're going to let it go. Ready? One, two, three. Here goes pie number one, pie number two. There's three, and uh, there we go. And uh, we have a lot more where that uh, came from here on What Would You Do? Stay with us. <laughs> okay. You're a good choice. What, 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 what would you what, what, what would you do? Fran, who was a terrific sport. Now tell me, how much allowance does uh, Eric get uh, on, a, on a weekly basis? Well, he doesn't yet. He doesn't, so it's going to be a lot longer time. To <laughs> Round of applause for Fran and her whole family. Thank you so much. You're over there, Robin, I'll help you clean up. That's fun. We have such nice families here. I would like to know who takes direction well. Does anybody here really take... Oh, you do tell me about it. So you listen in school? Yeah. And if a teacher tells you to do something, you do it without any problem? Yeah. Yeah, she says it sort of with a smile on her face. Well, how many of you have played Simon Says? Has anybody said played? Okay, now that's, that's pretty good. You didn't say, I didn't say put your hands up, Simon Says put your hands up, but you put it up anyway. Okay, think about that because I'd like to introduce a, a gentleman who is an expert, believe it or not, Simon Says person. Please welcome Bob Brandenburg. Here he is. Hello, Bob. 
How's it going? Nice to see you. Good, Mark. Now, Bob is a very talented uh, gentleman here. He works at uh, Game Lab. Explain what Game Lab is to the folks who've not been here. Game Lab is our attraction side here at Nickelodeon Studios. An opportunity for kids to come down and play and actually touch Nickelodeon a little bit. It's a lot of fun. And you've done so many things. You've been behind the scenes. You've been on camera. Explain to me what you're going to do today. Today what we're going to do is we're going to play Simon Says. Everyone's played Simon Says at one point or another when they're a kid. But today we're going to play it with a little bit of a twist, which we'll learn a little later. Why don't you show me? All right, anyway, how many of you have played Simon Says? All right, good. So we're now going to play Simon Says. Everyone put your hands in the air. No, so you'd immediately be out. See? <laughs> he didn't say Simon Says. Simon didn't say. All right, let's try it again. Now, Simon can be very tricky. You do everything Simon Says. If Simon doesn't say it, you don't do it. So let's give it a try. Simon Says, put your right hand in the air. That's it. Simon says, put your hand down. Simon says, put your left hand in the air. Very good. <laughs> Simon says, put your hand down. Simon says, put both hands in the air. Great, put your hands down. Ah, see, ah, see? You guys are pretty right. good, though. You're pretty tricky. They are pretty good. I'll tell you what, why don't we get some people and we'll play down here. You get Sounds 10 good. people, I'll Got get it. 10 people. You go over there. Let me get you want to play? You. Okay, you go down there. Uh, stand over there where Robin yeah. will soon be. Why don't you go down over there? That's number two. Why don't you go down there? Number three. And why don't you go down number four? And uh, I'm going to save you for something else. You come down here, number five, all right? Um, let me see. Uh, uh, this young lady here, why don't you, yeah, why don't you come down? All the way down, go over there. Uh, sir, sir, could you go down there? Why don't you go down over there and help us out? I need uh, this gentleman over here. Why don't you go down over there and help us out? And uh, you want to come on? Come on down. And uh, why don't you come with me? Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got all of our players here. I need you all to stand in line. And uh, Bob, why don't you uh, take it from here? You got it. Okay. okay, first of all, Simon says I need five kids to step forward right now. Five kids. One, two, three, four, five. This Simon says this five stand here. Simon says the next five kids step directly behind these kids. Simon says the next kids. Well, yep. Yeah. Come on down here. Simon says you. Come on down. All right. Simon says behind them five adults. One, two. Simon says the guy in the purple. Simon says in red. Simon says right. And we have five back there. Great. Now we're playing Simon says. Everyone ready? Now, uh, right where we need, we need to separate. Simon says the first row step forward a little bit. Simon says the back row, step back. Simon says the lady in the red, your row, step back one step. Good, perfect. Simon says we need, uh, we're forgetting something. Oh, Bob. Pie. Oh, Simple Simon uh, and the pie man, I remember that. So uh, can we take these pies Absolutely. and give them Absolutely, let's give everybody a pie. Simon says everyone hold a pie. Okay. Yes, there we go. Oh boy. Hey. Oh, Simon says they love the these pies. Uh, oh, here you go. There's the pie, sir. Simon says you have a pie. Any more here? There you go. Oh, lots of good pies. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Who did yeah. get one? I want to make there we go. Give you a pie. Oh, lady in red, you get a pie. Oh, here we go. You get one there we as go. well. Simon says everyone has a pie. That's right. So, all right. Okay, do me a favor. Pick your pies up a little higher. Ah, Simon didn't say. <laughs> Everyone, Simon says, everyone who just raised their pies, please stand right over here with me. Just those who raised the pies. Stand in a front line, straight, face the cameras Turn over on, here. Face the cameras here, gang. Simon Everybody. says, in a straight line, face the cameras right here. Come on back. Simon says, that's fine. Can the camera see us? All right, you guys lost. So Simon says, hit yourself in the face with a pie. <laughs> Simon. Now, wait a minute. Hold on here. We have a young lady here. Hi there. Hold on here. Now, now, ma'am, what, what, what is your name? Amanda. Now, Amanda, all these people just follow the directions, and I see for some reason you didn't do that. Why didn't you do that? I don't want to hit my Do you have a son or a daughter here today? No, I don't. You don't? No. Well, gee whiz, if there's no son or there's no daughter, and who did you come here with today? My sister. Where's your sister? She's in the audience. Bring her down here. Come on down here. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi there, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa, now I'm going to give you a chance, Amanda. Since you didn't hit yourself with a pie, would you like to hit Melissa with a pie? Sure. <laughs> would you like to do that? No. You don't want to do that? No, we have, somebody has to do this. Who's it going to be? You want to hit her with a pie, huh? And you're going to hit her? We're, uh, Bob, what do you think? How are we going to... I think that uh, since she chose, I think she's got to hit her with a pie. you got to hit her with a pie. Okay. Yeah. Just gently. Just gently. Okay. Because we've got to pay this off. we got to make sure. Because you, you could both hit them with a pie. I, I tell you what. Huh? You just, do you know Virgil? Who's Virgil? Uh, you know, Virgil, oh, I tell you what, come back here. We're going to save this for Virgil. Go ahead, Bob. Why don't you come <laughs> right, over here? Simon says we're going to continue right. playing Simon Says. Simon Says, you two, please stand forward. Simon Says, you three, please join in the line right be behind this gentleman. Separate in a straight line right there. Sir, stay, Simon Says, stay where you are. Good. Simon Says, take a step forward. Simon Says, take a step back. 
Simon says take a step forward. Simon says take a step back. Simon says take a step forward. Simon says take a step back. Simon says take a step forward. Simon says take a step back. Take a step forward. Oh, they're good. Very good. You're good at this. What's your name, by the way? Erica. Erica, Simon didn't say. Please step forward here. Take a look into the camera. Simon says, hit yourself in the pie with a face. Or hit yourself in the face with a pie. Go yeah. ahead. I'm going to count three. One, two, three, go. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Simon you says, go. Please. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're a good sport. Right over there, looks good, yeah. Simon says, you guys are great. Simon says, anybody ever played this before? Oh, Simon says, you guys are good. All right, Simon says, we're going to play some more. Simon says, take a step to the right. Simon says, take a step to the left. Simon says, take a step to the right. Simon says, take a step to the left. Simon says, take a step to the right. Simon says, take a step to the left. Take a step to the right. Oh, this young lady right over here. What's your name? Nicole. Nicole. Well, listen to Bob. Nicole, take a look into the camera. Where are we? All right over here. Got camera number two. Simon says, hit yourself in the face with a pie. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, Nicole. Head right on over here. Simon says, we want you guys to get into a straight line. Straight line? Straight line, Simon says. All right, you guys are really very tricky, by the way. Very. Simon says, stand in the straight line. Simon says, uh, uh, guys and gals. Okay, Simon says, uh, hop on one foot. Simon says, hop on the other foot. Hop on the other foot. Very good, very good. You guys, I can't beat these no, guys. So we I think you guys are the winners. So Simon says, please stand forward. Simon says, stand forward in a straight line right here. Simon says, all look at the cameras right over there. Simon says, hit yourself in the face with a pie. And, and, and hold on one second here. Come on down. Now, is, is this Virgil over here? How do you know Virgil? He's one of my sister's friends. Sister, well, come on over here, Amanda, right over here. <laughs> I think you should give Virgil a pie in the face then, don't you? Give him the pie right over there on the count of three. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. There, oh, yeah. my gosh. That's the way to do it. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to come back with much more. Uh, what would you do right after we do this? Oh, gosh. Look at that. kids always hear the same thing from your parents every day you know clean your room wash the dishes you know blah 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 well what would you do if I asked you to do an impression of your mom or your dad okay now knowing that they are probably watching or maybe you're sitting next to them tell me if you would imitate your mom and dad kids only press the number one right now however if you'd be too nervous about what might happen what the repercussions might be press the number two so one if you do an impression two if you would not do an impression and we find out that uh, about 71 percent of our audience said that they would imitate their mom or dad 29 percent said they'd be a little nervous about it now who here could do a great impression of their mom right over here gentlemen and put his hand up hi sir what is your name joseph gab joseph come down over here you you joseph gab is a great name what now what do uh Tell me what your mom and dad do. How can you imitate them? They mostly yell at me a lot. Like what? What would they do? You better clean this room. It looks like a pig pen. I have had it. I have had it. I'm going to get you. Okay, that's very good. That's nice. Thank you. Have a seat right over Anybody else uh, doing it? You do? Come on over here. What's your name? Andrea. Andrea, what, what does your mom or dad do? Um, I told you once, and I told you twice. You better clean up your room. Now step on it. Yeah, see, that's, yeah. My parents always used to do that as well. Well, they say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and if that's true, there are a bunch of parents out here at Universal Studios in Florida who should be pretty flattered. Take a look. Now, uh, you do an impression of your mom, huh? Yeah, on the phone. On the phone, let me hear it. Uh, hello, Sally. How's it going? Everything's fine here. Yeah. No, no, wait, stop it. Hold on a second. See, I'm on the phone. The phone, I got a phone in my hand. Just shut up. Okay. Mom, uh... Yell at you from time to time? Yeah. What kind of things did she say to you? I'm going crazy. Want to come? You're going to put me in a mental institution. Then where will you be? Did you say it right? Yeah, but I usually say it with a lot more anger and frustration, you might say. And there was lots more where that came from. Pick up your toys. Get outside. You better get your butt in bed, boy. <laughs> Clean your room. Clean my room! <laughs> My mom says my dad's a real sex machine. Dad's a walk in the snow, barefooted to school, but she doesn't buy it. 
Don't dare and do your homework. You need to get your butt outside, you know what I These kids are driving me insane. I'll, I'll just call you back, okay? Bye. You kids just are unbelievable. Does it all the time. Pretty interesting stuff. I am looking for a father who came here with a daughter or a son. Is there a father who came here with a... Hi, sir. How are you? Fine, Harry. I, I want you, do you know this lady over here? Yeah. Said, I was walking by here. That's the mother. And I said, is there a father here with a son or a daughter? And she kept going, she was hitting me, huh? Now, where's your son or daughter? Right oh, this young lady. Oh, gosh. And now, she's going to be a little bit too young for this. Do you have somebody else who's a little bit older? This this person over here. Hi. Is it you? Yeah. And what's your name? Kenny. Kenny, come over here. Have you ever seen these things before, Kenny? You have not? Oh, good. Hold on to that. Don't, don't do anything. What's your dad's name? Ken. Ken? Oh, Ken and Kenny, that'll be easy. Could you come down here, Ken, just for a second? I'd like you to help me out if you would, please. Give him a round of applause as he makes his way right over here. Now, Ken, you come over here. Kenny, you come over here as well. As a matter of fact, Ken, Sr., if you could just have a seat right over here, I'd appreciate it. Just have a seat and face that direction, okay? And, Kenny, I want you to join me right over here because while your dad is sitting over there, you will notice that this is a bow and arrow of sorts, but this is very soft and, you know, flexible and pliable, but there's a teeny little pin on the end there. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, and if, if I would point it in this direction, I would probably hit that balloon, and then what would happen? The balloon would pop. Yeah, now, Robin has a balloon over here, and that's what would happen. This balloon would go like that, okay? Now, your job is to stand right up here. Could you stand right up there, Kenny? And to take aim and try and get that over there where your dad is, okay? Now, I purposely missed. I could have really hit that, but I purposely missed, okay? And your job is to try and hit that balloon, but that balloon has a liquid in it. Did you notice that? Yeah. Yeah, and if you hit that balloon, where's that liquid going to go? On my dad. That's right. That is absolutely right. Now, we'll give you 10 seconds to do that, okay? okay. And at the end of 10 seconds, if you don't hit that balloon, you know what's going to happen? Uh, no. Look above you. This is called pie in the sky. At the end of 10 seconds, if that balloon's not hit, I'm going to pull on lever number one, okay? okay? And that first level will drop down to the second level. I'll say go again. You'll have another 10 seconds to hit that balloon. If you hit the balloon, that's great. But if not, I'll pull on lever number two. At the end of 30 seconds, if your dad is totally dry, you know what we're going to do? What? We're going to ask your dad to get out of there, walk over here, place you over here. He'll pull on number three, and all that pie filling will come down on you, Kenny, okay? <laughs> This one's no good. I want to give you a good one to start off with. We're going to start the clock at 10 seconds. You've got to pull it back. You can aim. You can do whatever you want. Audience, help us out. On your mark. Get set. Go! Here's number one. Oh, very close. Not quite there. That clock is going down, and we're trying to pop that balloon as quickly as you can. Get it in. Oh, not quite there. How are we doing on time? Time. Oh, stop. Stop right there. Stop right there. You know what? Ten seconds have gone by. And what's what's going on with that balloon? Is it still there, Kenny? Yes. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to pull down here on level number one, okay? Just like that. And you will notice that all that pie filling has moved down to that next level. you got ten more seconds, Kenny. Good luck on your mark. Get set. Go! Here we go. He's going missed on that one. Clock is going down to 17 seconds. Can we do it? Here goes the next arrow. And he's taking careful aim, but he's too low. He's going to have to get a little bit. Oh, stop, 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 Kenny. You know what, Kenny? I'm looking at that that balloon, and that balloon has not popped yet, has it? No. Okay, well, you know what that means? We've got to pull down here on level number two. There it is. You've got ten seconds. Concentrate. Aim really hard. How are you feeling about this, Ken? Yeah, you're feeling good, huh? Okay. Ten seconds. Really concentrate, Kenny. On your mark. Get set. Go! Oh, a little higher there, Kenny. Come on, you can do it. Time is running down. We're down to six seconds. If you can get the aim up, just a little higher, Kenny. A little higher, a little higher. Can you do it with two seconds remaining? Last chance. Oh! Time is up. Ken, come right over here. Ken, if you would, please. You were such a good sport. You know, your wife grabbed you. She said, could you come over here and help us out? Kenny, just step back just a little bit. That's good. And could you come over here, Ken? On the count of three, I want you just to pull that down, and let's see what happens. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, there it is. That's how it works. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken. You were a good sport, and uh, stick around, because uh, when we come back here, we're going to play the What Would You Do medley, so you won't want to miss that. We're going to clean these guys up. Oh, come on over here. <laughs> Two people.
people today. Now, Girl Scout leaders are really important people, and, and we should respect our Girl Scout leaders. Don't you agree? Yes. I think we should. Why don't you have a seat right over there on the first stool over there? And uh, this gentleman over here, why don't you help me out as well? We don't have much time today, so I'm only going to get a couple of uh, medals in. Hi there. What is your name? Dawn. Dawn. Uh, Dawn as in D-A-W-N? Yes. Very nice. Uh, where are you a Girl Scout leader? I'm not a Girl Scout leader. I'm a Girl Scout. You're a Girl Scout? Yes. Are you really? Gee, I thought you were so mature that you were possibly a leader. Well, we'll still do this with you. Would you like to do the card or would you like to go to the uh, Pie Pod? Uh, pie Pod. Would you really? Oh, my gosh. Okay. We'll take that off if you would. You, you would have had to eat a hamburger with honey. Would anybody want to do this? Anybody want to eat a hamburger with honey? That gentleman over there. Why don't you go over there in the Pie Pod? Rob will get you all set. And yes, this gentleman over here. Hi there. Why don't you come over here, sir? We've got to get somebody to do this. What's your name? Drew, come right over here. We have a, uh, a hamburger there. Why don't you take off the top of that, if you would? And we have some honey. And what does this thing look like? It's petrified, for gosh sakes. Oh, my gosh. And put a little honey on that, if you would. I'll let you do that, sir. Go ahead, Drew. Put as much as you want on there. Uh, that's all he wants to put on. Okay, that's fine. Put the other side of the bun in and take a, a, a big bite. Tell us what you think, huh? What do you think? A hamburger with honey. Oh, it's dripping from your mouth. What do you think? Good? No. Not particularly. Thank you, Drew. You're a good sport. Hi, sir. What's your name? Dave. Dave, uh, where are you from? New York. New York. Uh, yours is uh, up there, or do you want to go to the Pie Pod? Uh, I'll take the card. Take the card. Take it off, sir. And it says, uh, hidden talent. Do you have any hidden talent? Uh, yeah, I can do, um, imitation of Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. Ladies and gentlemen, Yosemite Sam. Here we go. Whoa, gay vermin. There ain't enough room in this town for both of us. So move on down the highway. That's very nice. That's great. Thank you, sir. Well, uh, we only have about 15 seconds left, and uh, I think we're all set over here. So, ladies and gentlemen, how many pies should it be? One, two, three, or four? What do you think? Four. Okay, help me count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Look forward, and here's pie number one. There's number two. Here's three. Thank you so much. Thanks to the Girl Scouts. Thanks to all of our audience. Be sure to catch us tomorrow right here on What Would You Do? Oh, a cowlick. Boy, I have one of those right over here. See you later. A promotional fee has been paid by Push Pop. On the go, on the run. Push Pop is a go-anywhere candy with lots of wild, outrageous flavors. So for the ultimate pop, give your taste buds a push with Push Pop. Push the Push Pop up. And by Buena Vista Home Video. New on video, Disney's high-flying family hit, Flubber, starring the outrageously funny Robin Williams. What would you do is taped in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal.